What's up, you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell by the title, this is a topic that more and more people are starting to notice. I first did a video on this like over a year ago now, like August of 2023, around that time. And back then, it seems like a lot of people didn't really notice. And it's been going on for a few years now. And there are even people back then, and I'm sure there's going to be people now in the comments who just click on the video, see the thumbnail on the title, don't even listen to what I'm saying, and just comment their stupidness like, it's not Amazon selling it, it's third-party sellers. No, these, these are examples of Amazon themselves selling new Transformers product for above retail price, sometimes 10, 15, 20 something dollars more than they should be, especially with leader class figures. Now today at the time of this recording, uh, their prices aren't that high, but if you go any given day and you just go and you just scroll through Amazon, the prices fluctuate and sometimes you do see new leader class figures or whatever Transformers figure you want to throw out there for sometimes $20 more than what they cost. Basically scalping new product that Amazon themselves are selling. I'm going to talk about some examples in this video and basically just vent for however long I want to talk with this video. And, you know, for somebody like me who has an Amazon Prime membership and who likes to buy new product from Amazon, it's really kind of taken a back seat the past couple years uh, from buying on Amazon because of this new method. I forgot what it's exactly called, but more retailers than just Amazon have been doing it online recently as well. I think Walmart is another one. Uh, when they sell new product, they raise it up a bit, you know, s start to scalp to make some more money and going off of eBay listings and other websites that are scalping this new product. And I forgot what it's called, but it's like the algorithm. And I think AI too is like driving the prices up on Amazon and Walmart to match all the other online retailers and eBay listings and whatever. And it's very scummy. It's really stupid. And it just totally ruins the point of having these uh, mega corporation retailers online selling the product instead of your typical... Joe Schmo down the street buying up all the product at the store to resell it for $20, $30, $40 more than what it costs online. And it really does feel redundant to the point of where am I going to be able to order my product if I can't find it in stores and all the other websites are just scalping it to high heaven. And there's quite a few examples that I found. Some of these, some of the figures that were the case are back to retail because they're not hard to find anymore and, ha and Amazon realized that so they put the price back to retail. So there used to be more examples this year but uh, I did find a few uh, today while searching through Amazon. So 86 Springer, this one's at 58 bucks right now at the time of this recording but just yesterday he was at like 65, 70 dollars I think which is obviously even worse and just straight up ridiculous and just scalping. Right now, I mean, you could kind of justify paying a few extra bucks, but it's still stupid. Amazon themselves are selling brand new product that they didn't have to outsource for. They got it for, um, you know, the thing retails for 55 bucks and Amazon probably got it for 45 bucks each, you know, 45, 50, 50 bucks each. So they're already making five, ten bucks per purchase. The fact that they feel greedy enough to up the price a little bit to match online scalpers is just absolutely ridiculous. And it just shows the times we're in with these corporations trying to take advantage of people and make as much money as possible because of whatever greedy reason that they want to bring up, whether it's the, the economy or whatever other excuse to the point of just, you know, wanting more money. Another one here is Studio Series 86 Leader Class Swoop. Now, mind you, this isn't even a brand new figure listing. This is used where the packaging is either damaged or the figure was returned or whatever the case may be. And this is from Amazon themselves selling a used copy for $72.13. This thing should be 40 bucks if it's used, not 20 something dollars above retail. This is freaking insane. Like, this is probably the worst example you could find on Amazon right now of scalped new Transformers product. Like, just look at this. A used figure for $72. Amazon. 
What are y'all doing? Y'all almost making me want to cancel my freaking Amazon Prime membership with this crap. Like, this is beyond ridiculous. This is, this is scummy. Uh, and whoever is buying this, you obviously don't respect your money and you don't respect yourself as a person. And you just want to be a plastic whore who wants all the new product, no matter how much you got to pay for it. So I don't know what to say to those people other than you're just being stupid with yourself and your money. And another one here, we got Core Class 86 Steel Jaw, <sighs> 23 bucks for a $10 Core Class. Would you look at that? Being sold by Amazon themselves yet again. No, this is not a third-party company. Enough with the stupid comments. Um, I, I get a lot of these stupid-ass comments. People who don't even watch the video who just click on it to try and sound smart in the comment section when in reality... You're probably the dumbest person in the comment section because you're commenting something that is the complete opposite of what I say in the video because you think you know something when you don't. People just don't give anybody a chance these days and they just go off of what they think they know and that's that. Like this is why we're, we're in the state that we're in with the world right now because people are too dumb to just listen to stuff from other people. But anyway, Steel Jaw, $10 figure. Amazon is selling it for close to $14 more than retail. They probably got this thing for like five bucks and now they're making hella profit off this, off greedy and nerdy collectors who just want to get these things as soon as possible and have FOMO and whatever the mental case is with, <laughs> with that reasoning. Another kind of different example here is pre-orders. Uh, some of the new Voyager class figures are being scalped for a couple dollars more than what they retail for. And again, this is from Amazon themselves. You have Studio Series Skywarp here, $36.99, well and readily available for pre-order. Uh, two bucks more than he should cost. Now, that's not really a whole lot, obviously, but they're still raising the price above retail than what Hasbro is telling them to put these things for retail. And again, they probably got this thing for like 30 bucks, 25 bucks maybe, and they're making all this profit off of it. Another example is the new Legacy Tarn that's readily available for pre-order again from Amazon themselves, $36.99, $2 more than retail. And I really do feel like more people should be upset about this. And where us as a community and us as a society are kind of just letting this happen, there's billions of us and there's hundreds of them and we're just letting these corporations steal people's money and just scalp to high heaven and become like everyone else online rather than being that good source of getting new product for the actual retail price where you don't have to pay anything extra. And it seems like gone are the days of that pretty soon here. Um, and it's just insane to me that this is what it's come to, and it seems like it's just getting worse every year. But, um, yeah, guys, I don't want to ramble on too much longer. This is absolutely insane and just ridiculous on Amazon's part, and whatever other major corporate retailer is doing this online as well. Shame on you. This is freaking stupid. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know, let me know down in the comments below. How do y'all feel about what's going on right now about Amazon scalping new Transformers product that is readily available at their warehouse? All my social medias are linked down below, including my email if you guys want to hit me up about business inquiries, or if you want to message me about whatever, or if you want to commission a diorama from me because I make dioramas for people for their stop motions, photography, or your regular display shelves in your homes. You can either hit me up on any of my social media accounts or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye!